The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at what Lund tells us is one of its best multi-species boats, the 1750 Taiyi. Her layout makes her an excellent choice not only for anglers, but with the new 150 Mercury four-stroke outboard, she also has the power for spending the day tubing with the family. Let's see how Lund is done at delivering everything a fisherman with a family needs in a 17-foot boat. She's a dual console boat with swivel bucket pedestal seats, and I have to say, Lund did a great job with the windshields, making them high enough to block the chill on our cool test day without leaving the frame directly in my line of sight. The helm console is rotocast molded with only three gauges keeping things simple. Rocker switches are to the right of the three-spoke wheel with its tilt base. The horn switch is colored red and it's a real horn, not the cheap electronic buzzers we usually hear. A small storage cubby to the right keeps the cell phone handy. The wheel seemed to be mounted a touch too far to the left. I'd rather see it slid a bit to the right and then the cap rail would serve as a comfortable armrest. I do appreciate the cleat mounted to the cap rail right next to the helm. Storage is underneath and accessed through a snap-on cover. To the side panel is a fuse compartment with labels right on the cover. The seats offer extra padding in the lumbar area, and the area below the wide back is opened allowing the legs to swing out without having to swivel the seat itself. The seats fold down on pinchless hinges. Additional seats are to the stern just under the aft casting deck, allowing four to sit comfortably while underway. Moving to the port console, Lund provided a cavernous storage compartment with a lockable lid, and notice again these windshields and how far they wrap around. They're also free of any distortion, leaving a clear view of the hazardous quadrants to the sides. Additional storage is in the deck between the two consoles, and it's even lockable because this compartment is also used for storing rods. 6 foot 6 inches on the lower row, and 7 foot rods on the upper row. An LED light is located here for sorting the gear after dark. The family will have no problems moving about. Even for a 17-foot boat, she's quite roomy. The cockpit measures 6 feet 1 inches across, and for safety, there's a 2 foot 1 inch cockpit depth. Stepping aboard is comfortable thanks to the 10 and a half inch cap rails. Undergunnel storage is lockable. When towing, the pedestal seats swivel all the way around, making a comfortable observer station. Fishing amenities start with a large casting deck at the bow. There's additional room forward for mounting an optional trolling motor, and a plug is pre-wired to the bow panel. In the deck itself is a storage compartment forward. Just behind is a pedestal base flanked by a live well to starboard and more storage to port. The center deck with the pedestal mount lifts out to provide more room when the family is aboard. And notice the strength built in. All metal with square channel reinforcements. To reinstall, slide the tongue into the groove. Slide bolts hold it in place. To the sides are sport track combings that accommodate a wide assortment of accessory brackets that mount anywhere desired. An anchor store is in a covered compartment under the foredeck, and another LED light is here as well. Moving aft, there are cockpit pedestal bases for fishing down low when the chop starts to build. A second casting deck is aft with a live well mounted to the center. The forward live well is 35 inches long and the aft one is 22 inches long, and both have aeration pumps and lights. And speaking of chop, I was surprised at how stable a platform the 1750 makes, even when my weight is moving from one extreme to the other. Now let's see what performance we got. Our Lund 1750 Tie E test boat had a length overall of 17 feet 6 inches and a beam of 7 feet 9 inches. With an empty hull weight of 1,345 pounds, full fuel, two people on board, and the Mercury 150 four-stroke outboard, we had a test weight of 2,382 pounds. With the 150 turning a 13 and 3 quarter by 20 three-bladed stainless steel inertia prop, we reached a top speed at 5650 RPM of 53.3 miles per hour. At that speed, we were measuring a fuel burn of only 14 gallons per hour, giving us a range of 93 miles. Best cruise came in at 3000 RPM and 25.2 miles per hour. That speed reduced the fuel burn to a mere 3.2 gallons per hour, which the 1750 Taiyi could keep up for 7 hours and 36 minutes and increasing the range to 191 miles. Most impressive was her acceleration with the 154 stroke, which played well into the water sports crossover. We reached planing speed in only 2.9 seconds, accelerated to 20 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds, passed 30 miles per hour within 7.2 seconds, and continued accelerating through 40 miles per hour in 9.3 seconds. Adding power to the 154 stroke only caused the bow to come up 8.5 degrees upon acceleration, and we settled into a 3 degree bow high cruise attitude. Sea Star hydraulic steering is offered as an option, and it really made a difference with effortless handling. 
I noticed no feedback torque effect during acceleration and certainly not during any of the straight runs at wide open throttle. The 150 also provided impressive mid-range acceleration. From our 30 mile per hour cruise seen here, throwing the throttle forward had us quickly outpacing the camera boat. Her reverse chine allowed her to carve nicely in turns, and her light weight translates into her traveling over the waves rather than slicing through them. Clearly, the Lund 1750 Tai E is a well-built boat with a lot to offer in the way of amenities. She does seem to represent one of the Lund's best examples of a cross-species platform and also offers a crossover between fishing and family fun. And I found her to be a great match for this new 150 Merc four-stroke outboard. That's our look at the 1750 Tai E from Lund. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.